Welcome back inside Paul Porter Arena. I'm here with the head coach, Tim Kraft, whose team just took a 78-70 decision, a tough decision over the Blue Hose tonight. You started out great here at home. Of course, you're 12-0 and and really got going uh, towards that second half. PC made a little bit of a comeback, but you guys uh, stuck it out and stood strong. Yeah, we got off to a great first half uh, start. And so uh, just you know, proud of our guys for being ready, for getting off to a great start. Uh, credit PC for, you know, and you knew they were going to do it, but uh, credit them for, for just kind of storming back and putting a lot of pressure on us there in the second half. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, our guys were able to make just enough plays and um, get just enough stops there to, to pull it out. Absolutely. Well, I want to ask you about two-year players first. We'll talk about DJ Laster, 10 for 13 from the field. Really made it look easy out there. Have to imagine that's a little bit of him, a little bit of X's and O's from you as well. Uh, well, the, fir the first half, man, our guys were just uh, giving him the ball, and he was just catching it kind of in our flow and um, did a great job of reading what the defense, uh, you know, how they were playing him, kind of taking what the defense gave him and uh, scored it at the rim a bunch in the first half. I think he was eight for nine in the first half and then certainly had some big buckets there in the second half. But just, you know, excited to see uh, DJ had a success uh, that he had tonight. Uh, no one works harder on his game. Um, and um, he's just kind of stuck with it this year, and, um, you know, it, it was great to see him play the way he played. Absolutely, and then we have to talk about David Effiani as well, became the all-time Division I leading scorer tonight with 19 points. Talk about what he's meant to Gardner-Webb and really his long five-year career here. Yeah, you know, five years is the first, first guy in my head coaching career, you know, that, that, that you know, we've come through a, a redshirt guy, fifth-year senior, and he was – David was the first – player that uh, we signed you know when I got the job here um, so he's certainly meant a lot to us um, I think the biggest thing about Dave is he's gotten better and better and better um, and each year gotten a little better and um, and um, you know it, it's great to see him kind of have the three years that he's had that's basically led him to, to, to break this scoring record and um, you know this year has been um, you know a, a really good one for him he's been really efficient his field goal percentages have been good he's turning it over less and, um, you know, excited to, to send him out and, and DJ and Brandon uh, Saturday on senior night. Well, you have senior day coming up, of course, courtesy of Radford's win over High Point. A win will lock you into a bye for the next round. What's it going to take to go 13-0 at home, get that last W in Paul Porter? Well, it's going to take two, two good days of practice uh, preparing for Longwood. And, um, you know, they're, they're going to come in here ready and they do a great job. And, um, you know, we just got to be physically and mentally ready to go. And we keep getting better. Got to get better tomorrow. Got to learn from our mistakes that we had here tonight. Um, and then, um, you know, it, it'll, be, uh, it'll be another tough game, like, like every game is in the league. And, you know, it, it, it would be really special to be able to, to finish with the win, for sure, and finish undefeated at home. All right, and that's not going to be, be easy because Longwood will be real prepared and they got good players and, and a great coaching staff. But uh, that would be really special to be able to do that. No doubt. And running Bulldog fans, if you want to find out more about Coach Kraft's team and the push to the Big South Conference Tournament, visit GWUsports.com.